Hey guys, I'm just doing a quick review on this Venture 30 Solar Kit by Goal Zero. Um, the reason why I got this product was I was going to, or I had already gone to a um, camping trip. It was eight days at the Grand Canyon, uh, river rafting, so it's 277 miles and getting deep into the canyon. So there's kind of some extreme conditions that you go, you go through. I mean, the, the water was 35 to 40 degrees, and then you got the sun and certain days were reaching up to 100 plus. So that being said, uh, no power sources. So this was a good product to get, especially with the reviews on YouTube from users as well as the manufacturer. This seemed like the product to get. Um, real quick on the design, the whole device is rubberized um, as far as the external pack. So you didn't have to worry about that getting wet. It came with two port, two USB ports that were 2.4A. So then that powered two, um, for example, a GoPro iPhone at the same time and the micro USB for, uh, let's say, for external um, battery battery pack if you needed. Um, for me, I just use the GoPro and the iPhone. Um, as far as the construction for this, um, it's well built. I mean, I have to say, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed the way that it is. You have this battery indicator, um, shows how much it's lit up. This is 100, so it's in 20, 20 increments. And then you have this LED light, which starts off dim and then gets super bright. It's really good for um, evening activities or if you need to light up your tent or whatever it may be, but you'll see it starts off dim and then just gets really bright. The solar panel is quite large. Um, it comes with all of these hooks for carabiners. You can hook onto your backpack or whatever you needed to hook it onto. And it um, has a special film on it that protects it. It's sewn in so nothing, no dirt can get into it. Um, it has a little magnet right here on the side so when you close it, it stays shut, it won't open. And then you have this net back here that has the other ports, cables right here that you can plug into whichever device. And then a dummy proof instruction of um, how to point this into the direction of the sun to get the most efficient charge. The dual zipper is kind of a neat feature as well because as you put this onto your pack, you don't know which design or which way it's gonna go. So the if you had a cord out, for example, you can secure just that one cord and whichever direction it may be, that's it's going to be secured by the two zippers. It's kind of not really like super big, super big deal, but it is a nice little feature. I'm gonna go over it again. It's a little dirty because I already used it. And then there's some scratches on this. It did protect the panel, so it's neat. And this is like a canvas type material. So the how I used it was I tied it to my backpack and while I was on the raft, and it probably folded over like this. And then I had some the wires are back here, so as water went splashed on top of it, this kind of acted as a shield. That was kind of neat. I didn't know if that was intentional or not. Um, also, when we would take short breaks throughout the day, um, this would be, um, I would take this off the raft and then place it on top of um, a rock or whatnot and then kind of post it up in the direction of the sunlight, whichever way it was going to go. And then I would have the battery pack um, somewhere off on the side as far as I could get it to get some shade. And around the third day um, that I was using it, I found that the the panel being black got really hot. I mean, super hot to the touch where you barely even really wanted to touch it. And there were several times that the panel started smelling like burnt plastic. Not really surprised because, well, the burnt plastic I am, but not really surprised at how hot it got, just because the temperatures did reach over 100. And that was um, kind of, I thought that that should have been expected. I mean, being weatherproof. Uh, but once that started happening, the charger never exceeded 60%, which became an issue because you want to charge your GoPro and your iPhone that you're using every day, and you have to decide which one to charge um, the most because of which one you're going to be using the most. Um, I don't know if it was a defect, honestly, but it was. It did become a hassle, and just to test it out, I didn't wasn't never sure if it was the panel or this during the trip. So I would actually use this um, iPhone cord and plug it directly into the panel and then give it about 30 to 45 minutes charge and come back to it. And what I found is that 
it didn't even charge my iPhone. It actually made my iPhone lose some energy during that time. Um, so there might be a defect in this because when I did get back to the hotel, I plugged this directly into the wall and it did, it, it did charge fully. So that being said, I don't feel that this performed to my expectations. And in conclusion, although I do think that this is very well built overall, I mean, in regards to the construction and the idea of, and, and the idea and features that went through with this, um, I just wanted you viewers to be, con um, be aware of what may potentially occur if you are in a situation and you did need that additional solar power that this could be something that might happen to you. Um, so yeah, it never passed 60, 60%. A while charge to this and I didn't see any other reviews online about other people experience the same so it could be a one-off but nonetheless that's that's why I felt like I needed to do a review just to let you let everyone know other than that um, if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching